Okay, so we exported this bill of materials for this assembly to Excel using Nitrobomb. And let's just assume that there is a change that's required. Let's say that somebody said, well, you know something, we have this drawn by parameter. We really need to have all of those names copied over to an engineer parameter, but then the assemblies need to have a different person associated with it. So that's easy enough to do. All you have to do is go to the all params report. And this is an Excel table uh, that is this report. So actually adding in a new column uh, can be done quite easily and we'll just give this a title of uh, engr and we're going to pick the type of it which is going to be a string and in this particular case we're just going to copy all the data that's from here to here uh, but let's go and kind of filter this data a little bit and let's say we want to modify all of the assemblies to have uh, let's say um, jjj as the engineer on each of these items so when we undo that you can see that we've made our adjustments now i'm just going to flag which models i want to do we can drag this down or we can just double click to kind of expand down. Since we're modifying every model, we don't have to be selective about this. We're just going to modify everything. We're going to import these changes. So that engineer parameter, uh, as you can see, has been created and been reported back, but it's not showing up in these other reports yet because we have to just simply re-export the report. So uh, this is actually pulling out all of the parameters of the models. Uh, so that new parameter that we just added included those within each of the reports. So it's just that easy to do.